When I perform live, I like to use looping to get a huge, full sound, just like a band would. If you're not already familiar with looping, it's just the process of playing something one time, recording it, and playing it back like this. My name's Joel, and in the next five minutes, I'm gonna show you how to transform any song you want into a loop pedal song. I'll be doing this with Viva La Vida, but I've used this method for dozens of other songs. The best thing about this method is that it doesn't require any fancy gear, any physical foot pedal, or buying any plugins for your doll. Also, if you just want to learn how to play Viva La Vida, I'll put the words down below so you can follow along. So, the core to my whole setup is actually Ableton's Looper. But, if you're using another doll, worry not. You can do the same behavior as it just by using recording clips and playing them back, all right? So, if you want to record a clip, all you need to do is go into your timeline view, specify the time that you want to be recording, and then the times that you want to be playing it back. I'm gonna play two guitar parts on this chorus. Check it out. I hear Jerusalem bells are ringing, Romy cavalry cries are singing. Be my mirror, my sword and shield, my missionaries in a foreign field. For some reason I can't explain, once you're gone, there was never, never an honest word. That was when I. We're halfway through. Now I want to go over some of the advantages to this method and also some of the disadvantages so that you can know if this is even the right approach for you at all. The biggest advantage to this whole method by far is the individual mix you get over each channel. With a lot of traditional loop pedals, you get one output, or sometimes two. If you want a nice one, it's really expensive though. So with this, I get to mix my guitar different than the kick drum when I was beating on it. it. Let's me have a really punchy full mix without getting crazy muddy like you might with a single channel. However, there is one massive downside to this whole approach and that is that it kind of ties you into playing one arrangement. If you like to improv, you can't really do it very easily. Also, you have to be used to playing with a metronome. So, you'll have to hear this. Sorry. All right, we're gonna do this last part here. Pay attention to the background vocals, how they're panned. All together. Thank you so, so much for checking out this video. If it has been helpful, please let me know down in the comments below if it has, and leave a like on this video. Also, I put out new content every week, original songs, cover songs, and if that all interests you, please get subscribed and check them out. My name's Joel, thank you.